One of the jobs that I do in relation to whisky is to advise Bonhams, international auctioneers, about um, whiskies that come up for auction. Now, I'm standing in their offices in Bond Street, New Bond Street in London, um, and a very, very interesting bottle um, appeared on the 29th of November this year. It's so important that it's illustrated on the cover of the catalogue for the sale. It's called Glen Arne, Glen Avon, but pronounced Glen Arne. The River Arne joins the River Spey at Ballandalach, where Crag and Moor Distillery is located. And there was a distillery known to have been there, they don't know exactly where, in 1851. And in 1852, it was licensed to a man called John G. Smith. After that, it vanishes from the record. Now, with a little bit of research, um, there was just up the road at Glenlivet Distillery, John Gordon Smith, the son of George Smith, who founded uh, Glenlivet. John G. Smith, maybe they're the same person. Uh, Glenarn doesn't appear in any of the records relating to Glenlivet Distillery, so maybe they're not the same person. And indeed, to further confuse the issue, um, the man who founded Cragenmore Distillery was also called John Smith, although so far as I've been able to find out, he had no middle name. Um, so was this Glen Arne? All it says on the label is Glen Arne Special Liqueur Whiskey bottled by the distillers. Now, the latter is important because to be truthful, it would have to, if it was made at Glen Arne, it would have to have been bottled by the owners of Glenarn. If the owner was John G. Smith, John Gordon Smith of Glenlivet, they consolidated, the Smiths of Glenlivet consolidated that they had, they certainly had a distillery at Del Nabo and they had another distillery at um, Upper Drimmen. And they consolidated in 1858 at Minmore, the present site of the Glenlivet distillery. So, this whiskey was made in the 1850s, if this was the case. Um, judging by the bottle and the label, style of the label, and research that Bonhams have done into the bottle um, and label, um, it would seem to have been bottled in the 1880s. Um, but if it was bottled by the distillers, the whiskey may have been made in the 1850s, which makes it potentially one of the oldest bottles of whiskey that's ever come to auction. I think that's enough waving around. <laughs> <laughs> what about the sediment? <laughs> 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 <laughs>